Hello everyone, uh, my name is Sard and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be taking a look at all the sets in my collection that I have sealed. Um, so this is mostly promo sets that I just haven't opened. There's a few retail sets in here, um, a few of them that I just don't really have desire to build. Um, and one that I just have um, because I ordered it. It took so long to come. I really wanted the set, and I bought it in store before it arrived. So, talk about that later. So, I have three stacks of sets here. I'll just go through them. So, the first one, I have a built one of this, or actually, I took it apart, but um, I have it in a bag now. But I have one that's out of the box, and I have a box of it the Adidas uh, promo set. Um, a cool box. Um, but other than, it's not an overly interesting set. The next ones here are some of the Chinese New Year. Um, this is 2021 and 2022. Um, the Year of the Ox and the Year of the Tiger. I like this one. Um, I've seen the uh, rabbit one at Indigo multiple times just selling it, so I'm sure if I was so inclined to do so, I could easily buy it. The next one here is one of those sort of odder ones. I don't even, I think I got it a few years ago. Um, and there's nothing about a date back here. It's just, it's a really colorful car thing. It's a three-in-one set. It's an odd one. I don't know if this is like the instructions in front there, and then there's a bag of pieces. Yeah, there's for sure a bag of pieces, and that's not like a box or anything. Another one like that, this one's a bit cooler. Um, this is some sort of Lego um, promo set here. I, I don't remember what this one was for, but it's just like the other one. Um, an Easter promo here. This is the Carrot House from a few years back. Um, I don't know what year this one. What, 2021. Okay. Um, I didn't get this year's rabbit one. Um, I was planning on getting it, but uh, when I got to the Lego store, when I would have bought the stuff, they had sold out of the Indiana Jones sets, so I wasn't able to get it because I just I didn't really want to buy anything that wasn't those sets that day, the Guardian sets released, but if I was to find them at another store, which I did, I didn't want to spend $100 at the Lego store, then spend another $100 at the uh, um, store that I got the sets. This is the Amelia Earhart Tribute set. This one's cool. Um, I really do quite like this one. Um, I think this, if you're interested in getting this, I'm pretty sure they have it on the LEGO VIP Reward Center. I was looking at it recently and I'm pretty sure you could get it. Um, here is the May 4th promo from a couple years back. This might have been 2021, yeah. Um, this is the Tatooine Homestead, so the third of, I think, the three promos they had. They had the Death Star Trench Run, um, the Endor, and this one. And I enjoyed these. I thought they were quite nice. Um, this one, I'm not a big Tatooine fan, I just, I don't really like it, and I never ended up building this set. Um, I think it's a pretty cool one, um, and I did like these promos. I liked the Aunt Baru's home's, uh, kitchen, which I'll show you later, um, better, um, but, uh, yeah, this one was a printed piece there on the, uh, sand crawler, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's a decent promo set, probably my least favorite of the three that released. This is a bit of a bigger promo set here. I think this, I got this when I got one of the sets later. Um, this is the Majestic Witch Crater 3-in-1 set. Halloween promo from this past year. Another one, this is an Ideas one, I believe. It was uh, Ideas Vote of some sort, I believe. Um, and this is the Ray the Castaway set. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. I think it's a nice, uh, promo set. Um, this one, I think, was just something I needed to, uh, I needed to get to a certain amount to get a gift with purchase, and it might have even been, um, the, uh, 
because there's a possibility that when I got this one, uh, I had to order the sets because the Lego store wasn't open uh, because of COVID. I think that might have been the case, so I think this was an online order to get this, and um, I needed to uh, get to a certain amount, so I just got this uh, battle pack. Um, the next one, another tribute set, I believe, yeah, the Jane Goodall um, one. Um, it's cool, and I like the monkey pieces. They're pretty cool. I think this was one last year. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just put these three promo sets together. Um, actually, four of them, because they all sort of go together. Um, Christmas promos. Um, these, the, these first two are last year's ones, and they all connect together. Santa's Workshop. The Winter Elves scene. And then this one, which does have the same style, or at least the same style as the Winter Elves one, which is kind of cool, um, is this one right here. It doesn't have a name on it, but I believe this was 2022's, or 2021's, sorry. And then the other ones were 2022. And the next Christmas promo here is the Christmas uh, Carol one. I think this is a pretty cool one. I like the book build. And it's, uh, it's a pretty cool uh, promo set. Um, a couple bigger ones here, some of my favorites of these promo sets. Um, here is the Aunt Baru's, uh Kitchen, last year's um, May 4th promo set. I like this one better than the Death Star coming up. It just got sort of revealed, not really revealed when I'm filming this. Um, and there was like a Death Star uh, plans card that you could get, I think it was the X-Wing, so the poly bag was the cheapest, and then the middle thing, like they've had the three ones in the past where it's, you've got the uh, keychain, and then the bigger promo, and this one's is the Death Star, then the Death Star plans, and then the X-Wing, which I'm excited to get the X-Wing because I haven't uh, gotten that yet. Uh, pretty cool one. First time you could get Amperu, and a pretty nice build. Um, I like it, I just never, Built it. This is probably my favorite promo here. It's for the 90th anniversary, the forest, uh, the forest hideout. I absolutely love the box of this thing, and I don't want to open it. That I want to build this and display it, but I don't want to take it out of the box because I just like it so, so much. I've considered just sort of building it and displaying this behind it because I like the box so much. I just, I really like this promo, um, one that I was very happy to get. Uh, here is the last, um, promo here, and then I'll go into the few retail sets. This is a pretty cool one. Now the tribute to the Lego house. Um, a few small builds with, um, uh, from the Lego house, of course, and, uh, with little display stands. Uh, really, uh, quite a nice set. I like it. Um, it's very full. It, it's a 583 piece set, so it's pretty large for a promo set. And I'll just move a few of these out of the way. Get into the next one. So this is the newest one here, one that I'm for sure, unlike the next ones I'll show you, I'm going to build it at some point. I just don't know when. Um, it's the Escape from the Lost Tomb, one of the um, Indiana Jones sets that released recently. Really nice set. Um, I just... My main thing was getting that fighter plane chase. I'll talk about it when I do a review of it. I absolutely love the original set. It means quite a bit to me, and I just absolutely love Last Crusade. That was my main one. I built that the day I got it, and I just haven't been able to get to this. I'm getting close to my end of my semester, so I've just been quite busy working on projects and just haven't gotten to building this. But at some point, I will for sure build this set. So, the next ones here, um, some Harry Potter, um, sets. Okay, I pick it up that way and I'm gonna end up damaging the sets. Um, so there's four of them here. Um, the first one, the, the Hogwarts Courtyard Sirius is Rescue, so one of the modular Hogwarts sets, a new Buckbeak color, uh, the Sirius minifigure, and, uh, Harry and Hermione. Uh, a decent Harry Potter set. I don't think it's great, uh, but it 
it's a it's nice to get some different shapes to add to the modular Hogwarts system. Um, the two books that released last year, so Defense Against the Dark Arts, as well as Divination. Um, I have really no desire to build these. Um, I like the minifigures in them, but I don't know. I have space for them. I can put them with the other four books. But I've just got to the point where it's like this and the new banners. I just don't really have that much interest in building them. Okay, so the next set here, a bit of a bigger one, a nice set, um, the Hungarian Horntail, a uh, buildable dragon with that really, really nice Harry Potter minifigure. Um, a cool set, one that I just don't, I don't have space for right now, and I just haven't got around to building it. The next one, the biggest set here, one that I was talking about earlier, The Office. Um, this is my favorite Lego set ever. Um, so I was very excited when this, you can see, even see the video, I have a reaction video to it, when this got announced. And when it got revealed, I was so excited. I thought it was an absolutely amazing set. The day of, pre-ordered it. When it came around, I don't know, September, October, whenever it did come out, it took a month, I think, maybe even a month and a half to actually arrive. My pre-order should have shipped day one. It didn't, uh, which was quite annoying. So I didn't plan on going to the Lego store to get this day one because I already had it pre-ordered. Um, so it sold out at my Lego store, but when it arrived again, um, I got it. Um, it, t it took so long that I just got it. It was a set I quite liked, and I ended up getting it. So... I have a sealed version of this set, which I'm happy to have. It's my favorite Lego set. Having a sealed one's kind of cool. Um, I probably won't get another one of these because it's a hundred and, hundred and something dollar set. It's not the cheapest thing to be buy in bunches of. Uh, but um, I don't know. I, I could sell it if when it goes up in value. I could keep it as it's my favorite Lego set. I could do really anything with this, and I'm just happy to have it built and have a sealed one, because it's just, this set, I just absolutely love it. Um, it turned out a million times better than I thought it would. Um, when I heard the price, I thought it was going to have like five minifigures. Michael, Dwight, Jim, Pam, Andy, um, and sales, Michael's office and reception. That's what I thought the set was going to be. And then it ended up being both sales desks, reception, conference room, Michael's office, and it had everyone. I, Andy, and I guess Aaron, if you want to count Aaron, it doesn't. Well, I guess some scenes are made when she was in the show, so. Um, but I was just so happy. And then Building this thing, the amount of detail that went in the set just impressed me so much, and I thought it was absolutely amazing, and I just absolutely love it. So I'm happy to have a sealed one here, and I, I really like a lot of these sealed sets. I have these promos that I don't know what to do with, really. I'm probably not going to build most of them or any of them. Maybe at some point I'll sell them. I'll probably keep the Star Wars stuff, and maybe sometime I do, like, a Christmas live stream, and I build the... Um, Winter Village set, the promo sets. It's just, I like having some Lego sets to build if I really feel like building. And it's something I've done a bit more in the last few years. I used to just, when I got a set, I built it. Um, I just, it's my, I love building Lego sets, but I don't need to do that right when I get a set, unless it's like a set like the Fighter Plane Chase brand new sets like the Guardian sets or the helmets, something that I want to get a review of out very quick, or just something I'm super excited for and really want to build. Some things that I just don't need to build right away. Um, I don't, I'm not going to build. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This has gone on probably a bit too long. 
Um, I might do a live stream for that Indiana Jones set today. If I don't, today it'll probably be next week because I don't have a ton of things going on next week. So I'm probably going to be building this. And I guess this video probably won't come out for a while. I'll talk about it in a video that I have coming up, but I have pretty much just a four-month period where I won't really be able to film much, many videos, so I'm sort of just pre-recording a ton of stuff so that I have videos over that span that can come out. I'll talk about it more in a video, but I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.